my desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I feel like. <laughs> <just> <laughs> I make a motion that we approve the minutes for the October 10th and October 17th meeting. Second. Well, it's been moved and second. We adopt the minutes of October 10th and 17th. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Uh, we'll recess as county commission and reconvene as the local health department. around the county, Stafford, St. John, Maxville, Hudson, and Seward. <clears throat> and along with those flu clinics and providing vaccines to the health department, um, the total we had yesterday was 574 vaccines given. Um, we still have people coming in to get flu shots, so we expect that number to continue to go up. Um, we ordered about the same amount of vaccines that we did last year because it worked out about right. So, um, we're well on track to use what we've got and we may end up needing to order more or borrow from counties that don't use all of theirs because this is a higher number than last year at this time that we had given. So Which is good. Yeah, what it was is our good. Total last year given. I am pretty sure what I looked at was four hundred and eighteen really? at the, around this time last year. So more this year for sure. Um, I submitted the Medicare and Medicaid revalidations. The Medicare revalidation is complete and approved. I got that back. Um, the Medicaid revalidation has been submitted and I'm just waiting to hear back from them that it's approved, but billing is still going as it's supposed to. Um, I'm still finishing up the first quarter grant reports. We switched to a new grant system and it's been quite a process to um, apply for the grants this year instead of doing it through the website that we normally did. They switched over and it wasn't working right. So we ended up having to do paper forms and spreadsheets to apply this time. And so I got all of that done and then they had hired interim people to enter all of that information into the new system and it didn't get done completely or accurately so they've been trying to fix it. I was supposed we we're supposed to have everything submitted by the 15th but they extended our deadline to the 31st because I still can't see one of the grants at all in there to be able to do it. Um, and one of the other ones I was able to do like the um, I can, I can do the budget, but I can't submit it because they have to fix things on that first, and I could do the question part of it. So I've already done the question part of that one and submitted it, but I can't do the budget part. And then I can't do any of one of the other ones. So I'm hoping today will be the day that they get that finished up and sent back to me so I can get that finished by next week. Um, in June, we had an immunization audit. Somebody from the state came out and um, went through some of our charts and did reviews, checked our um, vaccine refrigerator. We keep a log of all the temperatures, um, just double checked everything. We had no issues at all, and they sent us a report card, and um, everything was good to go. Um, we had a WIC audit in August. We had just a handful of things that they wanted us just to tweak. So um, we worked on that, and then I have to do chart reviews for six weeks. So I'm finishing up the chart reviews to turn back into them so that they can close our audit. In the way. Mm -hmm. um, Dawn attended a Healthy Start Home Visitor training October 4th. So she's our Healthy Start Home Visitor. It was a mandatory training that she went to in the college. <coughs> Maribel, our breastfeeding care counselor for WIC, is going to be attending a breastfeeding coalition conference in November and a WIC breastfeeding training that's mandatory in December. And then um, I attended an ACES training in September. Um, it's kind of goes hand in hand with our maternal child grant. Um, just trying to help families out that are having trouble financially or 
any children that are kind of falling between the cracks with their family life, not providing things that they need. Um, it's something that the Barton County Health Department put on, and they're trying to get all of the health departments to work together to do this training from the children and the community and the adults to if needed. So it's something that we could um, provide to the circles groups in the county that would be good for um, in, or in October, this, the beginning of this month, I went to a set-off training in Wichita, too, where they kind of went through the whole program and showed you step-by-step -step how to submit things, like any debts that you have. So, there was really good information. <coughs> Okay, you mentioned circles. I understand in Barton County is starting that up. Would you be yes, able to staff it? <clears throat> One in St. John. Yes. <clears throat> Has there been any mention about neuroscience and trauma and mental health? This ACEs is kind of like trauma informed <clears throat> stuff. So. So ACEs is Adverse Childhood Experiences, and it's, um, they kind of have this questionnaire that they have people do, and if you answer yes to any questions, it gives you a point, and it's kind of a point system that shows how many traumas that you've had in your life, and um, it's supposed to teach people resiliency, so if you have those traumas in your life, how to instead of follow the cycle that your family has followed, kind of make a turnaround and do better for yourself. So they were kind of wanting to direct that to circles because it would be beneficial to people that are doing circles since they're already going over finances with them because that can be a issue for people with the ACEs and trauma-informed stuff. So they're trying to it's kind of a mental health trauma thing, hand in hand, that they're trying to use. They're talking about early intervention, even at two months of age? Yeah, if they can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had a segment uh, at the conference last week, and what I perceive this is the end result <laughs> is you know, in keeping the mentally ill out of jails. Yeah. I think that's their end goal. Mm -hmm. But I was, you know, I was thinking adolescents, you know, teenagers and all that, but they're looking at right after birth. And, uh, well, I think they would have to be to a certain point. When well, it's start. right after the startle reflex is when they start. You know, that's when the infant, you know, you walk in the room. And well, the bike's going to be Yeah, he's going to be That's the lizard brain. Because <laughs> they were talking about the you know early development, you yeah, have the lizard brain is mm -hmm. what they call it. Mm -hmm. Something like the same And uh, if this is a startle reaction and so on and so forth, and then as time goes, then the, the, what she termed the lizard brain. But the lizard brain it was fight or flight. Yes. Yeah. And freeze. Yeah. And then from that point, once you start developing using your cognitive. Yeah. Yeah. And they're also talking about something about the cortisol levels being low in the brain or high. 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 Mm -hmm. And there's a test for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the people that did the training, Barton County posted it, and um, the people that did the training came up from Wichita from WSU. And um, I went to a secondary meeting that Barton County posted again on that ACES training. And they're trying to get it into the circles group, into the health departments to do the trauma informed stuff. And they're wanting to get it into the schools. And the group that showed up to the secondary meeting was like there was a social worker from the school. Um, the, there was several people from the crisis center there, which I thought was a good thing because they could really use this whenever they're seeing clients. Um, there was somebody from a church and. Um, somebody from the corrections, you know, two people from the corrections department. So they're trying to get the ball rolling on that to kind of put 
the word out. So and we're on board. on board with it, yeah. Uh -huh. So. And then they also talked about foster care. Mm -hmm. There was somebody kids. there that was part of that too. Now, is that Saint Child Francis. Protective Services of Topeka? What department? There's what, I think there's an office in Great Bend. St. Francis, I think mm -hmm. it's okay. part of that. And somebody from that group was there too. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll give you this. If you want to read it, it's fine. Throw it away, it's fine. <laughs> but uh, it was kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. So if they're trying to keep the mental health people out of jail? Yeah. Well, that's the end result. Yes. Are they trying to get ahead of the <clears throat> They're trying to get ahead of the curve. Yep. And this is 10, 15 years back then. Yeah. yeah. Because it's a big project to do, to take on. I mean, I think a lot of the other addiction problems that we have, maybe a lot of people that are trying to self like those. Mm -hmm. And make their own stuff. <laughs> but I think the main reason that they were wanting to get it into the circles group is because it's people that are already trying to turn things around for themselves by going through that circles group. So they're hoping to teach them so that they can teach their kids and it can just become a cycle down the family line. Yeah. So. I think they'll think there's something to it. They're calling it a parabasis. 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 Okay, sounds good. Anything else? I think that is it. Adjourn on the county health department and reconvene as a board county commission. Thank you. Thanks. Keep getting those shots. I'll get Todd down there. Okay. Get big, <laughs> we'll be ready. <laughs> have a big lollipop. You know what is? We have a whole basket. You can pick whatever color you want. All right. They didn't have that one. I'm telling you, you got to hide behind the door and get me when I ain't looking. Surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> Philip has a road crossing for that. He's already signed in, so I'm just So this is way up north.
pertains to the driver's license offices. Yes. And I think that will embark on the first guy. Recess. So you sent out how you sent out five? I sent out to five Lauren and Pratt, Barton, Fabric County, just the local abstract places I was aware of. Um, Taylor Abstract and Lorna sent a bit of 210 per parcel per track. Um, Pratt County Abstract. And first American title and crown both won one hundred dollars for per track. Now the last I knew I think there were forty four, but I think some people have been in the pay, so they have actually much less than forty four. Originally we were looking at forty four and then we decided to do this year's taxes and so it's kinda of, uh, that's what I think. So yeah, I'm looking at the sale of property in the room and kind of right at this point. Okay. I mean, you probably get this stuff rolling. So, yeah. The other two places, first security across the street and Barton County Abstract, you don't respond back at all. Really? So, yeah. so Pratt and First American Title out of Pratt are the two one hundred dollar bids. Thought on that. that sounds reasonable. I've never used either one of them, so I'm just going to have a preference. I'm going to put half of one, half of the other, just keep it one. <laughs> That's what I would say. Okay. Do something to take on? I'd be happy to do one of them. I know nothing about it. Yeah, I don't know. I know when it used to be across the street, once in a while it took forever. Yeah, I mean, I'd say time to us. So, what time, just roughly, I mean, when will you know if the property is going up for sale? And you will turn the abstract, turn it over to get the work done? Uh, probably now. I mean, we sent out letters to people, some came in and paid, and then we decided we're going to add a year to it, so we sent out more letters. Um, I didn't get really quite the backlash that I thought I would. I, mean, I sent somebody a letter saying you owe three thousand, and then they get another letter a month later that says, oh, you know, I don't know, five, five thousand. Like, but I don't think anybody really, you know. Um, so I don't know what day, day deadline we gave them, but you know, just kind of like, And if they come in, you know, and pay the day before the sale or whatever, they still have to pay the fees. They have to pay the speed of the one day. Yeah. Just pick one. Yeah. <coughs> that was Pratt County Abstract. Uh, Pratt County Abstract and the First American Title. Yeah. For both and Pratt. Yeah. For $100. Who used First American? Okay. You might have I talked to the guy at Mid-Continental Restoration and he suggested they come out and love free of charge because I told him we had them you know, in the past on a, was it every other year rotation on one side of the building south side and two years later the front side or however it was and finished up the back. And uh Can so they look at the ropes too? So we have to get ropes because Rob mentioned that up in third floor, you know how that stuff falls yeah, off. Yeah. 
Can said, they look at Brooke? He said, we will come out and we'll take a look. And he said, well, free of charge, we'll do an assessment. I didn't know they did this. Well, they don't. But they, if they, if they, they do the con, the if they award a the contract and then sub it out, do it. Okay. What are you talking about? Um, Tuck and Point. The bricks. Um, they, well, they power washed it. They treated it in the back, got that rust off the, it's something rusted down there. There's the cap on, on the, on the, uh, yeah. but before we do it side by side every year, so it wasn't such a big but they like Nita said, they'll power wash it, then they'll go ahead and do where Nita tuck and point the brick and then seal the windows and make the wash them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it and uh, we need new windows on the commission room, so we can get them over. I understand that. Was someone lucky with the thermostat or what? <laughs> well, I'm very excited. <laughs> I like to so, feel like that when I walk. So, I know. Uh, I will call him and tell him. And uh, then they will probably call you to say when they're going to come out. And what's the name of this? Mid Continental Restoration. And they're out of crap? No, they're out of Fort Scott. And they've always been great for they, they're very conscientious. The, the steps that we did at the Methodist Church mm -hmm. totally ripped out the building. They, they were the contractor for the stump and the brick, but they don't do flat work. So they sub to a concrete guy and they formed it. And <clears throat> but they do. Um, where was the last place I saw them? There was some. But they have their own crew, and these guys have been around for. And they, even when they work on the front, they don't really get in the way. Yeah. So.